welcome to KSA Data Vision YouTube channel. A very happy new year to each one of you. In this particular video, we'll just try to understand what is the future of analytics. So when I say what is the future of analytics, currently what we are doing, we are getting the data from different systems. We are doing all the transformation cleaning in the on-premises uh, by using some ETL tools and then we are pushing into the BI tools. So that is what we are doing currently. But is it going to continue? Now that's the biggest question mark we do have. So in this video, we'll try to understand first what is the scope of data analytics in future? Are we still going to do analytics with different domains? Now that is the first thing we'll see. And even if that is true, how are we going to handle all this in our on-premises? which we are currently doing for most of our clients. Now that we will be seeing. And is it going to continue? For that, we do have a solution. To talk about the scope. Now data analytics is one sharp knife that can be inserted into any domain because by using data analytics, we are going to generate revenue to the company. Whether it could be a telecommunication company, an healthcare company or a retail, or any of the e-commerce the one thing which really is needed is analytics by using analytics we can try to understand what is the problem that the companies are facing what is the historical data that we have and what is the analysis which we can do and we can showcase to our clients by using bi reports and that is where your clients will make some decisions now this is what we are doing it and it will continue because as in then day by day our usage to the companies as well as the customers and the use cases are increasing day by day and we also understand that over the years we have seen that the data is increasing rapidly and you can also see that before COVID it was almost 40 gigabyte when I say gigabyte gigabyte stands for almost 10 to the power of 21 now as and then we pass on through every year the data is keep on increasing because of the smartphone usage the internet usage and the gadgets which we are using the data is keep on generating now are we still going on to analyze in the on-prem now to answer this question we do have a lot of problems in on-prem few problems to state with the first thing is as and then your data is increasing you cannot go and build your storage level since we are using on premises we can't keep on extending the space because end of the day it all drills down to the maintenance cost now in order to have a huge server to store your data which could be in terms of terabytes you have to buy a storage which is a a very huge amount for the investment you have to buy the system you have to buy the servers and then you have to store your data now that's the problem and even if you find a solution to get that the data loss or the data security becomes a major problem nowadays we are hearing that a lot of companies are getting the third party companies data and by what just because they are using on-prem they don't provide good security and company also has a limitation that they cannot spend over excess amount your business is generating 1 lakh and you cannot go and spend 1 lakh for your storage now this is a problem and not only that we also have some performance hit the more the storage your reporting or a data cleaning or the transformations also becomes a hit so every client need their reporting in a very accurate form and also with a very high performance reporting now that is expected from clients but the current situation where we are we are currently into the market where most of the clients are facing issue with respect to this points now okay we understand the problem now what is the solution well when I say solution, we know that there is already the involvement of cloud computing in the market. 
which is solving our problem. Now, similarly, what we do have is this problems can be fixed by using cloud computing. Whereas when I say cloud computing, the top three cloud, it could be AWS or it could be Azure or it could be GCP. Now, the question is by using this cloud, can we solve this problem? And to answer this question, yes, we can do it. And the one cloud which we will be choosing is Azure. Now, Azure being a, a Microsoft product, it provides a lot of flexibility in handling huge data as well as working with the analytics and providing the solutions to your end users. Now, we know analytics and we know Azure. So both combining together, now we are going to come across the terminology called Azure Analytics. Now, what is this Azure Analytics? Well, this Azure Analytics, when I say it is analytics on the next level, what is the next level? No more on-prem analytics, everything we are going to do in Azure. Azure being the cloud, one of the best cloud services for data related platforms. Now, this is a, a solution which you are going to implement. End of the day, our client needs scalable solution and by using Azure Analytics, we are going to improve for the system. Now, what does this Azure Analytics does? Azure Analytics brings everything into one place, whether it could be your transformation, it could be your cleaning, and the most importantly, if you want to handle big data analytics, now this is a right platform to use it. And you can also build your artificial intelligence solutions irrespective of whatever you're doing, whether you're working for a data engineering, you're working for a data science, or you're working for data analytics, the one platform which provides you all the flexibility with the optimized pricing is Azure. Now, what we are going to do in the real time, the companies also needs the analytics within their fingertips. They need everything within seconds. Now, even if they are working with a live data, or I can say the real time analytics, they have to see the data immediately and they don't have a waiting period because every minute they're generating revenue. So in order to handle this, now we are moving to Azure Analytics. Now Azure Analytics is going to be the future where the entire analytics you are going to do at the cloud. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, we have different services for different problems. When client needs, when I say business, if they need to have an analytics, which is going to be at the high level, we can still go and use different services. So suppose if you want to have very timely mannered insights, we can go and use Azure Synopsys. Now, Azure Synopsys is a service which provides us the real time analysis. Now, the most difficult part of the analytics is your transformation part, where if your data is complex or if you have a larger volume, you find it difficult for doing the transformations in the on-prem. Now we have something called Azure Databricks, which works on a Spark environment, and that is how we can do the transformations at a faster manner. Now I keep saying this, the one technology which can never be changed is SQL, but we do have a Spark now, which is highly in competition with SQL because Spark provides a very real time transactions within seconds. Now that is also the one of the advantage by using Azure Databricks. So like this, we do have different services for different business need by using this we can take the analytics to the next level. Now that's the future where the entire analytics is going to be at the cloud. Now that is what this is Azure Analytics. Now we are going to start a new course for this Azure Analytics where you will learn everything about analytics, not in on-prem, it is going to be in cloud. With that, as said, we are going to start this course. So please reach out to our team. Our team can help you in understanding 
who should be the targeted people for this who can go for this course and what they can learn from this course so thank you so much please subscribe